Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Bluefish Code Editor. In this video I will be showing you around the software and showing you how to add an image. But before we get started I wanted to talk a little bit about Bluefish. This software is pretty simple and it's designed for a beginner. One really nice thing about it is it has an icon for a lot of the common commands that you'll be using. And for a beginner, it's usually easier to remember icons than tags. So it makes a great tutor as you're first learning to code using HTML. I think that Bluefish is a great place to start learning HTML and to get the basics down, but if you're going to be doing a lot with HTML in the future, I would probably use another code editing technology. So before we jump in, I'm just going to show you around this page. So this is what Bluefish looks like when you first open it up. I have a page that I'm working on right here. That's what you can see. And up here, we've got the toolbar. And so this has tools to start a new page, to save, uh, to cut, copy, and paste, and some other things. And then over here, we've got this little blue globe icon. And this is one that we'll be using a lot. This allows us to preview our HTML code in a browser. So you'll see us come back to that. And then just below that, we have another toolbar here. And this is where we'll find the icons that we'll be using today. So there's a quick bar here that you can add any icons to that you're frequently using. So you don't have to track them down each time you need them. And then there are several other options as well. We'll be sticking mostly to this standard bar and to the fonts here. So I won't go into the other ones at this time, but just know that there are more tools available here. So without further ado, we're just going to jump into this project. So here we'll be designing a Christmas decoration website. So I've got some of the basics up for it um, here right now. So here are the basics of this document and you can see if we jump up here to the live preview button this little blue globe uh, what we have so far will pop up so you can see that we've got a heading and a small paragraph here and then the title is up here in the tab so you can see that that's what we have so far so we're gonna go back to bluefish and let's say that we want to add a picture so I've actually already got this Christmas tree picture um, pulled up here and if we go um, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this URL so that I can use it so we'll copy and then we're gonna go back to Bluefish so next we're going to go to the standard tab up here and if we go all the way over here almost to the end we'll see the icon that looks like a piece of paper with a picture on it and if you click on that the image source or the insert image box will come up so you'll see a space that says source at the top of this box and this is where we're going to paste that url that we copied earlier so we'll just paste it right there and here we're just telling the computer where it can find this image so then we're going to fill in the width and the height. So for the width, we're going to fill that in with 280. And then for the height, we're going to do 400. And then you'll see another space below that for alternate text. And this is the text that a screen reader would read or a text that would come up if the image wasn't loading. So here I'm just going to type in Christmas tree. And that's all that we're going to do here in this box. So once you've done that, we're just going to jump down to the bottom and click OK. And it is basically just going to translate that information into the code that we need and put it in here. And so there it is, right up here. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and save this either by clicking on the save icon up here or you can also click Control S, either way works just fine. And once I've saved that, I'm going to go up to this little blue live preview icon and click on it. And there's the image right there in our website. And so that's how to use Bluefish to add an image to your website. Thanks for watching.